There are many West Africans in Southeast Texas concerned about what's happening in their homeland, but they want people here to know that the entire continent is not plagued with Ebola. In fact, one Beaumont business owner from Senegal says Americans should know there are African nations that have been successful in controlling the Ebola outbreak. 12 News anchor Angel San Juan spoke with her and has this report. Jenny Kamara has called America home for 15 years. The past five, she's owned this hair braiding shop in Beaumont. She's living her American dream while many in her homeland are living a nightmare. Jenny is West African, specifically from the country of Senegal, not far from hotbeds of Ebola like Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone. They, they're pretty okay in Senegal because they close all the bottoms, so they're fine. Jenny, who still has family in Senegal, is not too worried about them because she says her government is keeping the threat out by closing the country's borders. She says she's more fearful of the Ebola virus getting out of control here in the United States now that there's a confirmed case in Dallas. It's big country. <laughs> Jenny's friend Heidi, also from Senegal, says Africa is big, so people should not assume that all Africans are affected by Ebola. Plus. Jenny says each country has its own culture. She says, for example, hers makes the likelihood of Ebola spreading less likely. We don't have different diet. We don't eat the same because we're Muslims. When Jenny Camaro refers to the differences in diet between African nations, she is alluding to what many medical experts consider to have been the bridge that caused Ebola to go from the animal world to the human one. Bush meat is the cooked, dried, or smoked remains of a host of wild animals from rats and bats to monkeys in parts of Africa where nutrition is scarce. Bush meat has become a life-sustaining protein.